Did you know that your daily habits could be sabotaging your financial future without you even realizing it? In this video, we are going to unravel 12 common habits that may be damaging your finances fiercely. These often overlooked habits can be the invisible barrier between you and the financial freedom you seek. Get ready to discover and transform these everyday actions into powerful tools for your financial success. Additionally, today we will not only identify these harmful behaviors, but I will also give you practical strategies to change them and put your finances on the right track. Let's get started. Habit 1. Not Budgeting Without a clear plan for your money, it is almost impossible to have financial control. Let's see how this habit affects you and what you can do to change it. Not having a budget is like navigating without a map or compass. You may have a general idea of where you want to go, but without a concrete plan, it's easy to get lost. Without a budget, it's hard to really know how much you're spending, saving, or you can afford certain purchases or investments. Creating a budget doesn't have to be complicated. Start by writing down your monthly income and then your expenses. Include fixed expenses like rent or mortgage, bills, and also variable expenses like food and entertainment. The goal is that every dollar you earn has a value. Specific purpose. Once you have your budget, the next crucial step is to stick to it. This may require changing some spending habits, but the clarity and control you'll gain over your finances will be worth it. Habit 2. Spend on fast appreciating goods. This refers to buying things that lose their value quickly once purchased. We all like to treat ourselves from time to time, but it's essential to understand how these expenses affect our long-term financial health. Rapidly depreciating goods, such as new cars, cutting-edge technology, or fashionable clothing, may seem like attractive investments. However, these items often lose a significant percentage of their value in a short period of time. Overspending on these assets can be a significant obstacle to increasing your net worth. Instead of focusing on goods that rapidly decline in value, consider investing in items that maintain their value over time or, better yet, those that can appreciate. This doesn't mean you shouldn't buy things you enjoy, but you should. Do it consciously and consider the long-term impact on your finances. A practical way to avoid this habit is to ask yourself before every major purchase. Will this purchase hold its value? Are there cheaper alternatives that will give me the same satisfaction or utility? Making informed purchasing decisions will help you avoid unnecessary expenses and keep your finances in good shape. Remember, every time you spend money, you are voting for the type of financial future you want to have. Habit 3. Not having an emergency fund. Many people overlook the importance of having savings specifically designated for unforeseen events, and this omission can lead to critical financial situations. Let's look at why it's essential to have this fund and how you can start building it. An emergency fund is your financial safety net. In the event of unforeseen expenses, such as a major medical bill, a car repair, or even a job loss, this fund can be the difference between a manageable solution and a financial crisis. Without it, you could be forced to resort to high-interest loans or spend savings intended for other purposes. Starting an emergency fund may be easier than you think. The goal is to save enough money to cover your living expenses for three to six months. You can start small, saving a small amount of your income each month. Even a little reserve can go a long way in difficult times. It's important that this fund be easily accessible but separate from your regular accounts to avoid the temptation to use it for non-urgent expenses. A separate savings account or money market account can be good options. Habit 4. Make impulse purchases. These are those purchases that you make without prior planning and that are usually more motivated by emotions or momentary desires than by real needs. Although they may seem harmless, these purchases can add up and significantly throw your personal finances off course. Impulse purchases are often tempting because they offer instant gratification. However, they rarely contribute to our long-term financial goals. They can result in overspending and decreased savings, and can even lead to debt if credit cards are used for finance these purchases. To combat this habit, start by becoming aware of your purchasing patterns. Before making a purchase, ask yourself if you really need the item or if you are responding to a momentary desire. Establishing a waiting period before purchasing something can help you decide if the purchase is necessary or just a passing whim. Another effective strategy is to allocate a specific budget for discretionary spending. 
This way, you can enjoy the little things without compromising your larger financial goals. Habit 5. Not Investing Often, the idea of investing can seem complicated or reserved for those who already have a considerable amount of money, but the reality is that not investing can be a missed opportunity for your money to grow. Let's see how you can start investing, regardless of the size of your capital. Investing is a powerful way to make your money work for you. Through investing, you can build your long-term wealth, benefit from compound interest, and save for the future, such as your retirement. Not investing means missing out on the potential of growth that the stock market, mutual funds, real estate, or other forms of investment can offer. To start investing, you don't need large sums of money. Even small amounts invested regularly can add up over time. You can start by exploring options such as low-cost mutual funds or investment apps that allow you to invest small amounts of money. It is important, however, to educate yourself before diving into investing. Understand the risks involved, diversify your investments to mitigate those risks, and establish a long-term investment horizon. Remember, investing is not about getting rich quickly, but about building your wealth steadily and safely over time. Habit 6. Neglecting Financial Education In a world where personal finances are becoming increasingly complex, ignorance can cost you a lot. Financial education is an essential tool to make informed decisions and build a solid foundation for your financial future. Many people avoid learning about finances because they see it as something complicated or boring. However, financial education is not just about numbers and graphs. It is about understanding how to manage your money effectively, how investments work, credit, insurance, and how to plan your financial future. To start, find resources that align with your interests and level of knowledge. You can read books or blogs, listen to podcasts, or even attend workshops and seminars. The important thing is to find a learning method that works for you and commit to it. The financial world is always changing, so it is vital to stay up to date. Set aside time each week to learn something new about finances, and you'll see your understanding and skills improve over time. Before continuing, if you like it, I encourage you to leave a like and subscribe. This way you can continue enjoying more interesting content. Let's keep going. Habit 7. Living with high interest debts. This type of debt, such as that generated by credit cards or loans with high rates, can be particularly damaging. Not only does it affect your current ability to save and invest, but it can also have long-term consequences on your financial health. These debts are dangerous because they grow exponentially. High interest means that if you only make minimum payments, the original debt can grow until it becomes overwhelming. It's like being in a financial trap that is difficult to escape. To break this habit, the first thing is to avoid incurring new debts of this type. If you already have this type of debt, make a strategic plan to pay them off as soon as possible. This may include tactics such as consolidating your debts or directing any extra income towards your payment. It's also crucial to understand the true cost of debt. A loan or credit card purchase may seem manageable at first, but interest can make the total cost much higher than it seems. Learning to read and understand the terms and conditions of your debts is essential. Habit 8. Ignore small expenses. It's easy to underestimate the impact of smaller purchases, but when added up, they can make up a big chunk of your budget. Let's see how this spending pattern can affect you and what you can do to change it. Small expenses, such as a daily coffee at the coffee shop, eating out or impulsive online purchases may seem insignificant at the moment. However, at the end of the month or year, these expenses can add up to a considerable amount. This habit does not, not only does it affect your ability to save, it can also prevent you from achieving your most important financial goals. To combat this habit, start by keeping track of all your expenses, no matter how small. You can use a budgeting app or simply write down your expenses in a journal. This tracking will help you become aware of where your money is really going. Money. Once you have a clear picture of your expenses, identify areas where you can cut back. Consider cheaper alternatives or, in some cases, whether you can eliminate that expense altogether. For example, making coffee at home instead of buying it at a coffee shop, it can save you a lot of money over time. Habit 9. Not planning for the future. Often, we focus on the present without considering how our current decisions affect our long-term finances. Failure to plan for important events such as retirement, higher education, or even long-term emergencies can leave us in a vulnerable position later. 
Planning for the future is more than just saving. It's about setting long-term goals and creating a financial plan to achieve them. This includes considering investments, saving for retirement, and having adequate insurance to protect you and your loved ones. Start by asking yourself where you would like to be financially in 5, 10, or 20 years. Then, work backwards to establish the steps you need to take to get there. This could involve increasing your savings rate, investing wisely, or making investment decisions. Life that aligns with your long-term goals. It's never too early or too late to start planning for your future. The key is to start now. Even small steps can have a big impact on your future financial well-being. And if you feel overwhelmed, consider seeking the advice of a professional financial advisor. Planning for the future may require discipline and sacrifice in the present, but the long-term benefits are incredible. By making financial decisions with a view to the future, you are not only ensuring greater peace of mind, but you are also laying the foundation for a stable and prosperous financial life. Habit 10. Lack of clear financial goals. Without specific goals, it's easy to get sidetracked and spin without a defined purpose. Setting clear goals gives you direction and a sense of purpose in your financial decisions. Your financial goals can include things like buying a house, saving for retirement, or simply being debt-free. The important thing is that they are specific, measurable, and achievable. This means you should be able to monitor your progress and have a realistic plan to achieve them. Once you have defined your goals, create an action plan. This may include adjusting your budget, increasing your income, or changing your spending habits. Remember, financial success is not just about how much you earn, but how you manage and you use your resources. Habit 11. Surrender to financial obstacles. We all face financial challenges at some point, but giving in to these difficulties can prevent you from achieving your financial goals. The key is learning to overcome these obstacles. Financial obstacles can come in many forms. An economic crisis, an unexpected expense, or even a mistake in our investment decisions. These challenges can be daunting, but giving up will only make the situation worse. When faced with a financial obstacle, the first thing is to stay calm and evaluate the situation objectively. Look for practical solutions, such as adjusting your budget, looking for additional sources of income, or restructuring your debts. Remember that there is often more than one way to solve a financial problem. It is also important to learn from these challenges. Each financial obstacle is an opportunity to grow and improve in managing your finances. Analyze what went wrong and how you can avoid similar situations in the future. Habit 12. Lack of diversification in investments. Putting all your eggs in one basket is a common mistake that can lead you to face unnecessary risks. Diversifying your investments is key to minimizing risks and maximizing your growth opportunities. Diversification involves spreading your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and perhaps even cryptocurrencies. By doing so, you reduce the impact that poor performance in a specific area can have on your overall portfolio. Not all investments, they will behave the same in different economic circumstances, so diversifying helps balance the risks. If you're new to investing, the idea of diversifying may seem overwhelming. Start by researching and educating yourself about different types of investments. You can even consider mutual funds or exchange-traded funds, ETFs, which are already diversified and can be a good way to start. Also, regularly review your investment portfolio and make adjustments as necessary. The market changes, and what worked well a year ago may not be the best option today. Keeping your portfolio aligned with your financial goals and investment horizon is crucial. Remember, the most significant change begins with small actions. You don't have to acquire these 12 habits of your financial life overnight. Choose a habit that you feel needs the most attention and start there. Over time, these changes positives will add up, leading to stronger financial health and a more prosperous future. Thank you for staying until the end. I hope you found these tips useful. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more content on how to improve your personal finances. And share this video with someone you think can help too. See you next time.